Um, good afternoon or good day, wherever the time it is, wherever you are. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Now, I haven't been able to post a video for the past two weeks on any of my playlists. And the reason why is I mentioned about a month ago that my system was compromised, my fault. I installed a software that I thought was trusted and whatever. Um, but the end result is that things were so wacky for a while that I had to wipe my entire system, back up my data, and then I'm in a process of trying to restore it. Um, it was so crazy that not only was my system, I think, compromised, but also my network because I started having all kind of weird network problems and I had to end up just redoing my home network. But what it means though is that it's taking me some time to get back to my system in place and I'm getting back up to where I needed to be so I could make the video, which is all my software on there. It's configured properly and all this stuff. And just to show you what other challenges I'm dealing with, in addition to having to copy off all my data, I used to keep backup of it on my um, storage network storage device, but I don't trust that backup because that would have been a backup of my system when it was compromised. So I made a backup to a hard drive and now I'm trying to restore the data from the hard drive and it's just taken a long time. So for example, if I do a DU here and I say, don't go into any directory level, you know, stay at the top. And I want to see um, what is the size of, let's say, uh, come to Microsoft, for example. This is a directory I need to restore. So Microsoft VS Code, and I want to restore this Microsoft directory. How big is it? And so I am on that volume for that drive that I have connected as a USB drive. And it's telling me it was just like 38 megs, right? Let's ignore the 16 uh, megs. Now, if you look on my system, this is actually my um, directory here that's missing this Microsoft directory with VS Code, and so I want to copy that back. So if I try to copy this, let's just show you, um, so let me show you what, what I'm dealing with. So I'm trying to create a uh, directory with this information. So, and that's all I'm trying to demonstrate is I have to read this information and off of my, actually, no. So I want to call it, let's call it Microsoft.tar, for example. And I'm trying to copy this stuff here and this Microsoft directory. Now remember we just did the size test and we said that was only 28 megs. Now what I'm doing with tar, I'm saying tar create this file um, to create and I want you to create a file and this is the file I want you to create which is in my home directory which should be landing somewhere right here. So I should be able to see a file called ms.tar being created here. And you can see the file doesn't even exist anymore. Well, I get it, my home directory. Um, so here, and you can see this file is only 15 megs. Now, if I watch it, um, we'll see how long it takes to copy. And so I have two terabytes on this drive that I need to restore back to my computer. And as you can see, for a 38 megs file, how long it's taken, it's not even moving. It copied 15 megs, and now it's not moving. So that is what's been taking me a whole lot of time to get um my system back in place so i wanted to give you guys an update why I, there are no videos but um i'll get back to that hopefully during this week i can get all this stuff sorted out and get the data copy as you can see look this is not moving so i don't know if there's something wrong with my hard drive so it copied two megs in the past whatever seconds um that's that's ridiculous this is a usb external hard drive on usb 3.0 um it should already done copy um, this 38 megs in like no time, but yet it's taken forever. And the other problem is that the other problem I'm dealing with is that it would eject the drive randomly. So of course, if it ejects it in the middle of me copying something big, I have to start over the whole thing. So I have to copy like individual things piece by piece. So hopefully I can get through all of this and then we can get back to having fun with embedded programming, learning Flutter and go on the run. All right, take care. 